alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titlini Han. Now, I like chickpeas and I love ginger and I adore coriander. Like chickpeas, love ginger, adore coriander and I'm on a diet. So let's make a chickpea curry. For the chickpea curry, I've got one 400 gram tin of chickpeas, one onion sliced thinly, two chopped tomatoes, two tablespoons of garlic and ginger paste, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, about two teaspoons of freshly chopped ginger, and here there are three green chilies, like this. Now you can add as many or as few chilies as you want, and I promise that if you leave them out altogether, I won't call you a wuss. At least not to your face, anyway. So three chopped green chilies, wuss, two tablespoons of coriander powder and a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon each of salt, sugar and turmeric, and a cup of freshly chopped coriander. Heat two teaspoons of oil in a pan, add in the coriander, cumin, sugar, salt and turmeric, and stir fry for one minute. Now add in the onions and the garlic and ginger paste and stir fry just to soften the onions for about five minutes. Once the onions have softened, add in the tomatoes and cook gently until the tomatoes disintegrate. My tomatoes have gone all mushy, so I'm going to add in half a cup of water, the chilies, but you can leave them out if you wish, wuss, the drained chickpeas, the chopped ginger and the lemon juice, Mix together and bring to a gentle simmer. Once it comes to the boil, cover and simmer gently for five minutes. After five minutes, remove the lid, turn off the heat and stir in the fresh coriander. Then serve. One delicious, nutritious chickpea curry. How easy was that? Now with all those fresh flavours of ginger and coriander and lemon juice, you don't really need the chilies. Mmm, or maybe you do. Join me next time on Chitty Bitty Kitchen with me, Chitty Han. Until next time, good afternoon.